Good morning everyone. Welcome back to day 26. It's Sunday morning here. It's 20 to 12 and the weather is stunning again. Beautiful glorious day which is so nice. Um, I've just been spending a couple of hours with with the president of our doll club. She called in here just for me to sign some papers so we can um, organise things at the bank. We need a few signatories because our, our rules and regulations, or actually our constitution says we need three signatories on every check. So I'll be the fourth person. I used to be the first, of course, when I was the president, but now I'm the vice president. And so we have the president is a signatory. We have the treasurer as a signatory and we have the secretary as a signatory. And I'm the fourth backup in case someone's sick when we need the other signature. Anyway, so that was gorgeous. We've just been sitting and talking about dolls, which, oh my goodness, oh, my favourite subject to talk about, seriously. Um, well, one of them, let's put it that way, one of my most favourite subjects to talk about. So we, we discussed everything. It was really, really fun. Um, anyway, so she's gone now. So Lottie and I are here to show you what she's wearing today and just to say hello and hope that you're all doing okay. She's wearing a gorgeous bubble romper. It's in a cotton and it's sort of a, it's not absolutely light blue. It's got a little bit of a tinge of sort of aqua to it, I think. But it's very sweet. It's got white spots all over it. And it's got a blue, pe well, the same Peter Pan collar as the fabric of the romper in the blue with the white spots. But it's got a lovely white cotton ruffle around the, the collar. And then it's sleeveless and around each sleeve that isn't a sleeve. Each arm opening, let's put it that way, um, there's white cotton trim as well. So that's a very simple outfit today, but uh, it's perfect for the weather. And she looks so sweet. Just love it. Love, love, love this look. Because you get to see the chubby thighs and everything. So that is my Lottie dress for today. Oh, and she's also holding um, a vintage koala rattle. Let me show it to you. It's plastic. It's probably from the... I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, the other side's blue, but it's a bit worn out on that side. Can you see where it's rubbed? Here and there. So I usually keep it on this side, which is also rubbed. Look at the noses, they're a bit rubbed, the paint on the noses. But it's very cute, so it's probably from the 50s or 60s. So that's for Lottie today, so she's got something to play with when she gets sick of listening to my voice, hey darling? Which she must be pretty sick of by now, I would say cute little sausage that she is so that's what she's wearing now the brand is a brand that i don't know it's something like petite oh, what was it petite baby or something but it's a brand i don't know so i think i probably bought this little romper from zoo lily at some stage because they have brands that i they have brands i know but they also have brands i don't know so it could be one of those um Anyway, can I thank you all for your comments on my last video and thank you so much to those people who um, put in a request for what they'd like to see Lottie wear on this last, how many days have we got? Four days, we've only got four days to go. So I've got, I actually got five requests but two are the same so I, co I will combine them into one and then I will, um, yeah, and then I, I that will be good fun. I'm glad you did that. Thanks, guys. Not, it's not that I ran out of ideas, because that's never going to happen with Lottie's wardrobe, as we know. But it's just that I thought it would be lovely if you guys could, you know, if you had some favourites and I could use those. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So I already know what Lottie's going to be wearing for the next four days. Well, there you go, everybody. Um, let me think. Is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Hmm... I don't think so. Aside from talking to Kim, which was great fun. Um, but what else? Oh, I can tell you one little story. I don't know if it's interesting, but it's really exciting for me. I've had the same pair of sandals. I call them slipper sandals because I use them as slippers as well as sandals. And I've had them for over 20 years, ever since I had my stroke. And they're the only ones that really are perfectly comfortable on my foot that doesn't work and don't hurt and are just great. Easy on, easy off, never hurt. 
So I've had them repaired about, oh, I don't know, at least 10 times with all the bits that are wearing out. And I've been looking and trying to replace them and I keep trying buying other sandals and for some reason they're not the same, they're not right. They hurt my toe, they hurt my ankle, they're, they're too, everything, everything's wrong. There's always something wrong with them. So it's just been a big hunt. And then for some reason this morning, I managed to happen upon, because I've looked a lot for this brand, which is called Ara, A-R-A. And um, I saw some that were were for um, were available on Amazon in the UK. But I thought, I don't really want to have to ask my friends in the UK to to ship them to me because that would mean breaking COVID and going to a post office and it's not safe. So I um, kept hunting for another option and I found one. I found, because there were several shops that carry them, but none of them shipped to Australia, of course. Silly people, what's wrong with Australia? We are part of the world. We definitely are part of the world. Anyway, I found a shop in Austria that ships to Australia. And guess what I found? I'm so excited, I can't tell you guys, because I've been hunting for these same shoes, same sandals for 20 years. Ever since I got them, I've been wanting a second, second pair. And now when I wear this, it's really embarrassing to wear them out. And sometimes I have to because my feet are hurting more my foot. You know, it's just not, not able to wear something else. Occasionally I can if there's not, <clears throat> not much walking involved, but <clears throat> usually I can't manage. And I get embarrassed to wear these raggedy things out because honestly, they're really... You can imagine what they look like after several repairs. They're actually not even, they've got like, um, they're not, well they are leather, but they've got neoprene on the inside. And then that is uh, has, oh, what is it, suede over the top. So it's a combination of that neoprene kind of softish rubber stuff. I think it's rubber. And then so soft suede over the top. So they're very soft. But boy, oh boy, are they worn out. Anyway. I found three pairs at this shop in Austria and I bought them. It was a very circuitous kind of route and I had to go down a rabbit hole to find them. And then of course the website had lots of glitches in it, probably because it was actually in German and the website was getting um, translated for me. Plus, um, the way they wanted the format of the address was really weird and I didn't catch on to see how they actually wanted it or needed it before they would accept my address. And then they didn't like my credit card because it, I guess my address on the credit card or something didn't match the way I'd written the address. So it got all very complicated and then it said my basket was empty and I panicked because I thought, oh no, I finally found them and I won't be able to do it. But anyway, I started all over again and used PayPal and it went through and I just breathed a sigh of relief. They're getting delivered via DHL, so it will only probably take like a week and a half. It won't get stuck in the mail system because DHL have their own, uh, the whole, um, they have their own planes, their own collections and pickups and things, so it's really efficient. So I'm so excited and so happy and so broke, but these three pairs of sandals will see me out and they're each a different colour, um, which is, which will be handy. So. I, um, I feel so glad, so relieved after all this time because I was getting really worried that I wouldn't be able to go out much anymore. If I can't find a, a shoe that doesn't hurt my foot, it makes life extremely difficult. And um, anyway, so that's my big news of the day, which I'm really, really happy about. And um, yeah, so I'll just wait for them to come. Oh, I'm just over the moon. Anyway, my dear friends, I hope that wasn't too excruciating for you to listen to, but I am really, really excited. And so is Lottie, although we can't really tell, can we? But she's comfy, she's very comfy and relaxed there. But tomorrow I will come on with a special outfit that has been chosen by Sharon Kaminsky. That was the first one that came through, so she's getting the first go. Very excited to put it on Lottie and to show you all. Tomorrow will be day 27, that's right. Yeah, because I can count 27 comes after 26. Woohoo! So clever. Anyway, my dear friends, thank you very much for visiting us again and we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.